guys, welcome back to Gun Shorts. This week I've got no guns. I'm still in lockdown um, and as I said I've kind of run out. However, last week uh, a guy called Shane Martin commented on one of the vids and suggested that I do a video about what I tend to carry when I'm shooting. Seems like a great idea and something I can do whilst I'm here. So, here we are. Um, out of the kit that I carry I get two questions really, really commonly. One is about my pillars, the other one is about this fella. Um, this is a Crutes Byland uh, leather cartridge pannier. Um, superb bit of kit. There are definitely cheaper ones on the market. Um, Beretta makes several. Um, and there are other leather ones you can get hand tooled, all the rest of it. Pillar, I think, do one with a, with a front cover on. But this has absolutely been superb quality. I've got um, Crutes, a couple of Crutes gun slips. I can't speak highly enough of their kit. It's made in England, in Malton, in Yorkshire. Um, Fabulous kit, really, really nice leather. I've been running this for two years in all weathers with absolutely no care or treatment. And aside from you know, bits of mud and whatever from when I've been out with it on uh, pigeons and ducks and whatever, um, it's in smashing condition. It, you know, it's only just starting to get broken in. Um, lovely bit of kit, highly recommended, but uh, a little bit pricey. I think they're about 120 quid. Um, I also keep it on this uh, sort of police surplus um, instant buckle belt, just because it's useful to have a belt of that type. I tend to carry a torch, this is a Sunwayman uh, Cree LED torch, um, something I, I just find useful to have rather than relying on a, um, a sort of a torch on your um, cell phone, which is usually pretty crap. This is not a choke bag, this is a bit of a, a shout out to one of my old sponsors when I used to be an archer, um, True Ball Archery um, and Axel Sights. Um, this is a release aid bag. Um, it's a bit of a nostalgia thing, the reason I have it on my belt, but um, I use it for keeping my uh, my sends in, and I used to keep chokes in it, but now I've just got my old choke wrench, uh, which I just keep in there for somewhere to keep it. Um, my sends are the uh, Proflex uh, DX1s, which I picked up last year. Superb bit of kit, expect a full review on those later. Uh, moving on. Uh, oh, I've also got uh, this, which is just a generic, um, belt hanger, you can use it for attaching a towel um, or whatever. Um, also at the minute I am um, toting these things around, these are Swatcom Activates, something I picked up just before lockdown from Swatcom. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review on them, but unfortunately because of lockdown I've actually had a chance to wear them like once, um, so these are going to have to kind of wait until we get back to shooting until I can actually uh, give you a full review on them, but so far so good. Um, look out for future uh, future video. The bag itself is a Beretta uh, range bag, um, they're about 30 quid. Uh, I just wanted something that I had sufficient capacity to carry all the kit that I normally carry and not too much. Um, unlike in the US, we tend to sort of carry all of our kit on us in the UK. We don't have uh, trolleys or um, buggies or anything like that, so we tend to sort of be um, a bit more self-sufficient in that way. Um, the bag itself has a couple of side um, pockets, um, uh, an end pocket, and then this uh, sort of mesh container here for uh, drinks. In the main pocket is where I keep um, cartridges. Obviously this thing will hold up to 250 cartridges if you want to carry that many. Um, I've got some super fast, my sort of chosen practice cartridge. I've got my pillars. Um, the most commonly asked question is probably about my pillars. Um, in here I've got two frames and three lenses. I'll talk about this in a bit more detail because I'm going to do a video on the pillars. Um, one thing I would ask though is if you happen to know anybody or if you happen to be a distributor for uh, Randolph Engineering, I would love to do a review on um, Randolph Engineering Ranger specs or any of their range specs because I gather their lenses are superb and they're really, really reasonable by comparison to, to, to pillar. Um, however, my chosen lenses are pillar. Um, I think they are unparalleled in their sort of scope in terms of the amount of colours that you can get. Uh, all the rest of it, but look out for a future uh, video a bit more in depth. In here I've also got some pens and whatnot, um, my license, I always carry my license. Um, in the end here I've got just some generic crap, it's a phone, uh, a power bank for my phone and uh, a cable for that, some spare batteries for my ears. Coming over here to the side I've got a little tin of Legia. Um, I always carry some Legia spray, this is a small tin, there are normally much bigger tins that I keep at home, but if you want to treat the gun after you've been out in the wet, invaluable, some grease, um, spare ears just because you never know, um, a pull-through, a pull-through is a superb bit of kit for 
temporary maintenance of your gun. I would never treat one of these as my one and only or main uh, cleaning method for a gun. They're great if you are traveling and you can't carry a full kit and you want to give it a quick clean through um, and that's about it. Um, there is no substitute. If you've got a decent gun and you want to look after it properly, um, there is no substitute for a rod um, and a proper cleaning regimen, but ideal for travel. A dirty cloth for um, to the oil in your gun or whatever, or uh, rubbing off any um, excess oil after you've been wet. Some lens spray. I'm really, really particular about having my lenses clean. Um, I don't know what it is, any kind of visual um, aberration or disturbance, uh, it just annoys me greatly. So my lenses are always conspicuously clean. I've got a wee uh, leather multi-tool in here. Um, just a, This is a Charge TI I got off for my 30th birthday, which is unfortunately a long time ago. Um, <laughs> a little uh, breech flag for when I'm using my auto. And that's that side. And that's kind of the uh, sort of cleaning and maintenance end. Over on the other side, I've got another microfiber cloth. I swear by these, they're great for a variety of things. I just always have plenty of microfiber cloths. Um, a toe protector uh, for if I'm wanting to uh, rest my gun on my toe. And a couple of pairs of mat wets. I always have um, uh, both sets with me just because they weigh nothing. They, they sort of eat no meat in the bag. And I've always got a pair that I need. So I've got the lightweight mesh um, gloves and the Climatech. I will actually do a bit of review on these um, coming up because obviously they support the channel um, and I'll get into a bit more detail about them but these are my mat wets again always in the bag and that's about it that's everything I carry with me um, regularly I've also got <laughs> a bushnell range finder but that's uh, not a, a regular occurrence I've, I think I've ever used that when out shooting um, clays certainly but um, that just lives in my bag for when I'm doing other things um, and that's it that's my that's my range bag Questions or comments, please, below. Um, I wonder what you guys carry and whether you have any um, questions about the stuff that I tend to hook about. Um, any suggestions for stuff that you think is potentially better or um, any cool gadgets that I'm not aware of, please let me know. If you're a manufacturer and want me to take a look at any of your stuff, please give me a shout. Specifically, um, I do want to do a bit of a roundup on, um, on, on shooting specs. I do have some sort of cheaper bolle specs that I can maybe do, um, but I am looking for anything sort of mid-range, because sort of, obviously the, the pillar's the top of the line stuff. Okay, that's my bag. Um, please, if you have enjoyed it, do give the channel a like and subscribe. The channel is, as always, supported by Bible Shooting Ground. Um, Hull cartridge, the confidence to win, and Macwet gloves, all grip, no slip. Um, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I will see you next time.